Hey there, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to solve one programming puzzle from CATES. For this puzzle, we need to perform basic arithmetic operations, but instead of having numbers, we have words, and each word represents a number. There are three possible kind of commands that we can receive as input. The first one is a definition, which as the name suggests, can be used to define variables. The syntax looks like this, and as you can see, for example here, A has been uh, mapped to 1, B has been mapped to 2, and C to 3. The next command is calculation. The syntax looks like this, but it's not limited to only two variables. For example here, we want to sum up A and B, which would equal 3, and there is a variable which is mapped to 3 and it's C. So we know that we can basically perform this um, arithmetic operation. On the other hand, A plus C would equal 4. There are no words that are associated with the value 4. Therefore, the result of this um, operation will be unknown. Here, neither D nor E are defined. Therefore, Again, the operation will be unknown. Finally, the last command is clear, which removes all of the definitions. All right, let's start coding. I have already defined the storage for the mappings. So this is a dictionary, which is going to store the words and their corresponding values. The input ends at the end of the file. So you're going to Keep receiving the input, we we'll try to receive the input and we will store it in some variable called command and if we get to the end of an error, we are going to break the loop. So the input will be a string file where the elements are separated by spaces. Therefore, we split it so that we can work with it as a list. Now, the first kind of command uh, is the definition. And it always starts with def. If that's the case, then we are going to add it to our storage or dictionary. The next kind of command would be the calculation. These commands always start with calc. And to do its job, we are going to write a function. Let's call it calculation, which is going to take as input the command. Now we begin by creating an empty list, which we are going to then uh, store the order of the arithmetics in. So then we loop through the elements of command, except the last one, which is the equality sign and we don't need it. Each element can be an operand, either addition or subtraction. And if that's the case, we just add it as it is to the list. It can be a variable. If that's the case, we are going to check whether it has already been defined. It would then need to be um, already added to words. Then if that's the case, then we are going to add its value to the list. Otherwise, if it's um, a variable, but it's not already defined, then we know that we cannot do, regardless of the rest of the operation, we know that we are not going to be able to calculate this result. So we are going to just uh, return unknown. Okay, now that we have the values, and the uh, operands, we can just uh, calculate the result of the equation. So we are going to use eval. And 
the result should be stored as a string because the keys and values of words are all in string format. We must now find the word that is mapped to this value. To do that, we are going to define a second function. We are going to find the key based on the value. And there are plenty of ways to do that. But one way would be to do it this way. We invert the dictionary so that the values will be as keys and keys will be as values. And then I need to return the key that is associated with the, the value that I'm looking for. If the value exists in the list of values, otherwise unknown. Perfect. We just now find the key that is associated with this value that we have uh, calculated here. And using that, we would return the final result. Great. Before we pass the command to the function that we have just written, we need to get rid of the calc that is in the beginning. And then call our function on it. We can now test it with a sample input from the puzzle. We define foo to have the value of 3. This is not possible because bar is not defined. We define bar and we also define programming. So for the second calculation, we, we have uh, the values for both and the result will be 10. There is a word that is mapped to the value 10. Therefore, it's possible to compute it. Here comes two more definitions. This would be unknown because programming minus um, is plus fun would be 14 and there is no word that is associated with 14. We redefine fun to be one. Now the same equation will lead to seven and we have a value for seven which is bore and we can also test clear which should uh, return basically it does not return anything just um, deletes all of the already defined definitions with that this tutorial would come to an end i will post the code on my website and then share the link to that in the captions of this video thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next tutorial